Welcome to this FMH tip of the day. I'm Jonathan Fry, Support Pro Service Manager for FMH Conveyors. Today we'll be discussing DC motor control boards on our power flexible units. First, make sure power is disconnected from the unit before performing any work. Let's start with an overview of the unit. As you can see on the slide, the top section of the conveyor is your in-feed in. With our product flow going from left to right. The power supply enclosure is located at the end feed end of this unit. This enclosure houses your power supply board and the DC motor control board. Also, this enclosure is where your serial number for the unit is located. The serial number will be on a blue and silver tag and located on the outside of this enclosure. The serial number will be required for any phone support that is requested. The DC motor control board provides DC power out to the motors on your conveyor. On the right side of this unit is the AC power side from the power supply board with a 15 amp fuse. The left side of the board is the DC out to the motors with a 15 amp fuse and resistor. There's an indicator light LED module in the center of the board that provides feedback on the state of the board. If the indicator light is lit green, it indicates there is power to the DC controller from the power supply board. It also indicates that the AC fuse is good. It does not supply any indication as to the condition of the DC fuse. If the indicator is lit red, it indicates that a current limit condition has been reached. Check the CL trim pot and increase in small increments clockwise if necessary. If a replacement board is needed, be sure and keep the plug-in horsepower resistor and the DC fuse if not damaged. The only time the horsepower resistor would need to be replaced is if there is physical damage or cracks in the resistor housing itself. A replacement board will not ship with a new resistor or DC fuse. These are ordered separately and have kit part numbers based on the electrical needs of your equipment. The fuses, an AC fuse, if blown, could mean that the board is bad. Isolate the board, replace the fuse. If the fuse still blows, replace the board. On this side, the DC fuse, if blown, could be a stalled motor, a bad motor, or a shorted out motor cable. Check for any damaged wiring and amp draw from the motor. The reversing toggle switch, if equipped on your equipment, Changes polarity of A plus and A minus and allows the unit to change directions. Toggle switches are three position. You have forward, neutral, and reverse. This requires you to stop in the center before changing the direction of the conveyor to prevent damage to the board. To change the unit from forward to reverse, you would change the switch from the forward position to the neutral position and then to the reverse position. If the unit isn't functioning, it's a good idea to check this switch and confirm that the switch is not in the neutral position. If so, change the switch position to either forward or reverse to match your application. Speed dial indica indicator, if equipped, is an indicator to allow you to see the speed of the unit itself. It allows adjustments of the conveyor speed from zero to 100%. Again, if the unit isn't functioning, it's a good idea to check this dial indicator and confirm that it isn't on zero or the unit won't run. As always, once work is complete, troubleshooting is over, make sure power is connected back to the unit. Hopefully these few suggestions will allow you to quickly troubleshoot the status of your DC motor controller to determine what corrective actions need to take place to get your conveyor back in service. As always, you can contact FMH Service at 1-844-364-7378 to speak with one of our factory trained service technicians.